Hans-Jörg Strube. And I, I need you to spell that for me. Why? There's no way I'm going to get that. I might get Hans. Oh, oh, Hans is fine. Okay. H-A-N-S, the last Hans name. Hans with a really unusual uh, last name, which is what? German? Strube. Yeah, I'm German. German. Okay. Yes. All right. You you know, we, we came down to this. This is ADM. No, JDM at the ADM. That's what you mentioned. That's what this, this is. But um, yes. uh, you have a very unusual car here that's, that I haven't seen. Uh, I would like to say I haven't seen in a very long time, but I probably haven't seen it at all. There is supposedly one in Florida, and then this one is here. And there is... Two or three in British Columbia. Okay, so there's still a few left on the planet and you yes, have one. Yes. Okay, uh, what is this car? Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how you got this. And, it's a uh, Toyota is... Century V12 uh, G C G G C G50 body style. Early 90s. Early 90s. Okay. Uh, I have uh, the predecessor of this one, a V8, and I always wanted a V12, so I decided to get a V12 and, you know, research in Japan, and I found this one, bought it in Japan, and got it here. Now it's here. How long did it take you to find it? It was quite a while. I didn't want a black car, and I didn't want leather interior, so I got a There's green car. There's only four left on the planet, man. I know. You got to take what you can I, get. No, 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 no. I wanted a, a green one, and I have my green one. But long story short, I mean, if you check long and hard enough, you'll yeah. find it, and it's here. Yeah. So, so the, the, the role, the, the message here is uh, be persistent. Yes. Don't give up if you, no. want, if you want it. Correct. Okay. I do this myself. Okay. Uh, it's my hobby. My job is in the car business also, but okay. this is my hobby, and I just love it. All right. And I was heavily into the Mercedes for many years, Mercedes and Audis, and I found out about Japanese maybe two or three years ago, and I like it. Awesome. Well, this is Hans with the cool last name. <laughs> Thank you. Japanese cars at the Automobile Driving Museum back here, but I, I haven't had my fill, so I think I'm going to hit one other show. And we are at this uh, incredible Shelby Club. It's it's not that huge, but it's powerful, as they say with some Fords. Right. <laughs> well, Carroll Shelby back in '62 did something that General Motors or no other manufacturer did. He got the best group of engineers and hot rodders on the planet together right here in Southern California. And he put together a company that went out and won the World Manufacturers Championship yeah. in 1965. Shelby was basically a, uh, a subsidy of Ford. It was one of their racing arms along with, uh, with Holman and Moody who did stock cars. Shelby handled the sports car aspect of it. And all that history started several blocks away from us here in what is Venice. Ah, that's great. So you you, uh, you you feel a personal stake with this? Oh, absolutely. I've owned, uh, I have an early GT350 and I've owned my car for going on 37 years now. Yeah. So I've been involved intimately with these cars for How old is the club? Time. Uh, the club is 27 years old. It was founded in 1990. The National Club was founded in 1975. Yeah. Uh, the National Sack Club. Yeah. And they are the keepers of uh, all the everything Shelby and Cobra. All these cars are serial numbered. Wow. They're all individualized, and we ensure that they are not faked. Oh yeah. Uh, if someone wants to buy one, uh, we can verify the car for them. 
because uh, they've they've gone up substantially in value in these last yeah. 50 years. That's awesome. What's the uh, the uh, website for the club? LHWClub.com. There okay. you go. And what do you drive? I drive uh, this 1966 GT 350 right over here. And why that one as opposed to anything else? <sighs> Life's too short. <laughs> and I also drive this Boss 302 right in okay. front of us too. Which someone else is driving today. Uh, my son's driving okay. today. Uh, there job. again, life is too short. That's right.